Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Tuesday, means we are using another Satellite deck. So this is another one by Robert Lopez. So he created a Satella Fist. Satellar Fist? So, you know, Satellars kind of have a little bit of consistency issues. So he decided to go ahead and uh, splash a little bit of uh, Fire Fist in there. Alright, so you know, hopefully this turns out well and hopefully we can go off with some, uh, some interesting plays here. So, uh, when it comes to the whole, uh, it's really bad that wolf bark. I don't want to reveal that I have the bear. You know, that's the thing. I don't want to reveal that I already have the bear. So when I do this, he's going to think, okay, well, he just searched for that bear. Wow, he just scooped it up already. Like, damn, that was fast. Get another duel and bear back. All right, back. So, yeah, I decided to move up some things. So still working out some of the business and planning, but, uh, for right now, um, oh, trap tricks from now, all right, looks like, uh, it'll be, uh, I'm actually moving Tiago to Saturday with Rawvix. Sunday will be lots of back row day. Damn, you got enough back row for the rest of the damn class? I mean, I'm not one to talk, but damn. Play something, play it. Damn. No, I had like all the fucking back row, but I guess I got all the fucking back row too. We're just gonna back row, back row off I guess. Maybe I'm just gonna back row it off. You're just gonna run me over? That's fine. I don't really need Vega anyway. More back row. This door's just gonna be tedious as fuck. Eh, I'll dark hole you. There he has. Look at all that. Like, I know he's got something. Go ahead and play it. I know you got something. You are not gonna let this bear go through. You got fucking five back row. Go ahead and hit me with it. Hit me with your best shot. Oh yeah. Oh, you opened up with the freaking uh, bottomless too. Me too. And cards card that one. Got that D prison? There. This duel is gonna go excruciatingly slow. It's pretty clear that we're both running out of. We both don't got much. You wanna mess it? No? Okay. Uh. Yeah, go ahead and give me the gorilla. I can actually throw, start throwing shit at back row. <sighs> so, yeah. Stunzi will be moved to Sunday with heroes, and then Luna will stay on Mondays, and then that should go. Still working out some business plans with how this will go, but for right now, it should be fine. Oh, I'm sure. I love to activate. I love the summon to Neb. Oh yeah, the Neb is awesome. And I got that fucking Alpha too. Let me try to be cutesy with anything that I don't want you to do. Alpha is such a good card. I swear. He's like, he was saving it for my bear. But no, thank you. And of course I'll get my search. Uh, uh, I don't like the idea of going and overextending into those kind of plays with fucking all that back row. Swear to God, I don't. Go ahead and just pop your monster. The fire hand? Are you using that? Oh, it's Cosmic Dragon... Deck of deckiness. Alright, so it's Cosmic Dragons. I did not think it was going to be Cosmic Dragons. I really didn't. Mm-hmm. He's going to be like, summon, summon, summon! Yeah! Um, uh, okay. Well, it's pretty clear he wants to go for that Bills next turn. Yep. 
Summon him. Yep, summon him. Ah, uh, should I bottom with that? No, it's not worth it. Ah, uh, I already know I'm all summoned, so I guess I'm done. Go ahead. Did not see that coming. I, di I did not think it was Yang Zing. I didn't. I did not think it was Yang Zing. The way he was dueling, nothing was being hinted that it was Yang Zing. Oh! Oh, of course that's what he dropped to. I was, I was thinking that. I was like, watch him draw into the fucking cosmic trail. Watch him fucking draw into that fucking cosmic trail. So here. Yeah. Ah. Of course. Of course that's exactly what you draw into. Yeah, that's fine. Swear to God, Yu-Gi-Oh. Top decking luck of lucky miss top deck. Swear. That's all this fucking game is. Fucking luck. There's skill in it, but god, there's so much luck. That's just when destroyed, period? Wow, it's not even sent to the graveyard. All right. All right. That's just destroyed, period. All right. All right. All right. All right. Just destroyed, period. I thought it was sent, at least sent to the graveyard. Like, damn, Konami. God, this card's good. Yeah, that's fine. I thought I had him. I fucking thought I had him. Go ahead and make that fucking Armides. Look, like, wow. All right. I thought it was just destroyed and sent to the graveyard. Nope. Nope. Just destroyed, period. Fair. Fair. Totally fair. Yep. Fuck you. <laughs> fucking shitty me. Fucking shitty me. I swear. Of course. Anyway, uh, so that's the planning on that. So, you know, of course it's Tuesday, so I should be telling you guys about my Monday. So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, exaton. Exa fucking ton. Exa fucking. George, I mean, Robert. 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 There's no fucking Exiton in here? Why? 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 Fuck him. Fuck him. Why no Exiton? Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. Two of him? No Exiton. Alright. Thank you. Thank you, fucking Robert. Thank you. Thank you. No fucking exaton. No fucking exaton. I'm gonna get space timed anyway. But seriously, no fucking exaton? I could have changed with exaton. At least exaton is fucking spell speed too. Don't space time me. I already know you have it. No exaton. I know my opponent's probably thinking the same damn thing. Why any exaton? Because I fucking don't have it. Because I fucking don't have it. I don't know why I don't fucking have it. I don't give a shit if you always think that you're up on resources. Exit fucking ton is the fucking shit. How come he- did he take his thousand? Or- Or do you- I'm confused. He didn't take his thousand. Whatever. I'm gonna lose this fucking duel and it's gonna be all your fucking fault, Robert. I'm mad at you right now. Why? There's no reason why Exiton shouldn't be in this deck. There's no reason. No fucking reason why Exiton shouldn't be in this deck. With how easy you can just go Altair to Neb. Exiton. Exiton. Anyway, let me go ahead and start telling you about Monday. So Monday I have uh, my education class and women's literature. So, aka... Uh, aka... Uh, Amish girl and movie girl. Cause I know it's really allowed to. So you guys are coming here, fucking four. I can make Exiton out the fucking ass, but I don't have it. I just have stupid shit. I swear. I can make Exiton out the ass, but no. I 
guess I'll go for my boss monster. No dweller, no nothing. Damn. He has... I guess that's what I get for using a... Created that, huh? Damn, why? I just don't understand why. Like, did you, was the mentality that... Oh, I'm gonna always be up on resources, so therefore I don't need Exiton, or what? No, nah, it's not gonna do shit. No, none of those are really gonna help at this current moment, so I guess I'll go for my boss monster. Fucking Cheerio would be pretty good, but he ain't out yet, so... Oh, fuck! The fucking creation! It's not for just Zing Zing monsters, it's for all monsters! Oh my god, I keep forgetting that! Oh, fuck creation. Creation too good. Too Creation too strong. GG. Creation too strong. Damn. What are you, out of Yang Zing monsters or something? Or you just wanted one? Damn. It's not even worth you. It's not even. It's not even worth killing you. It's not. It's not even worth killing you. I got nothing. I'm literally gonna get out resourced. I would love that fucking. If I Exiton last turn, wouldn't have to worry about the fucking creations. Like, ah! Why? No. Exiton. <laughs> ah! You're bad. I'm so mad at you. You fucked me in this duel. You literally fucked me. I could have came back into this duel, but no. Ah! I want to cry. I want to cry. I literally want to cry. It's not fair. It's not fair. I lost this duel because I didn't have Exiton. It's not fair. <sighs> and now I'm gonna get fucked up by Goyo Guardian. And of course I'm gonna activate my effect. I got no more targets. I am literally out of targets. Oh, if I kill my Delta, I'll get his effect. Damn, but I can't fucking kill my Delta. Would he get crashing? Like, swear. Like, why? Why? I'm out of targets. <sighs> I mean, I guess I can go summon Gorilla, Gorilla, throw this, destroy one of them, and then fucking make like a Castell and fucking bounce his at and bounce one of the cards, but damn. So mad right now. So angry. I guess wonder one of them. Exiton would still be great. Next time would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to my 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, next time would still be fucking great. But I don't fucking have it. And you know why I don't have to fucking have it? Because stupid. Because stupid. That's why. That's fucking why I don't have it. Because fuck me. Yeah, I can go into Castell and I can fucking bounce him. It's the best I can fucking do right now. Another one? Alright, that's game. You got it. I got fucking nothing. I could Exiton! I could Exiton! But no. Yep, I lose. Good job. No Exiton. You get one more duel in. Be right back. I better not get fucked over in this duel because I don't have Exiton. No, Robert, I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna kill you. I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you. Ugh. Thanks. I swear. Thanks for that. Rutta. Of course, we're gonna Rutta for Deneb. It's a simple. It's first grade SpongeBob in this bitch. I'm gonna go ahead and summon. Ah. 
Anyway, so I actually talked to Amish girl today. We actually sat next to each other, and uh, we actually uh, hung out after class. The only problem is that usually we would go sit down in like the quiet area or you know just chill. For some odd reason today, she wanted to go to my class. Now, the problem with going to my class is that, of course, there's movie girl, and then, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying I'm a player or anything, but I don't want those two to conflict right now, you know? So, I, I, I was like, I no, not going to my class, nope, not making up bullshit excuses like, oh, I don't want my teacher to be there, no, oh, no. So, <laughs> so, I was making up some bullshit ass excuses, okay, what is this, fucking burn or something? Like some kind of burn. So far, it looks like some some something sacky. Something fucking sacky. Something fucking sacky. That one seemed important. Yep, fucking burn. Alright, well, this is fun. I don't have any spells. Alright, so I guess I just gotta dish out as much fucking damage as I possibly can. <sighs> uh... Fucking stupid. Like, why? Why fucking burn? Swear to God. Ah, oh, today is stupid. Mm hmm. Is there a point in even playing that? You must really want to activate Hope for Escape pretty bad, because I know that's fucking that's reckless. So I don't even know why the fuck you activated that, especially since you didn't have your fucking burn. That's why. Any shit I can do with these two. Nope. I can go into love level with chain, but why? I'll put something on top of the deck, but why? Nah, no, I'm cool. Uh, uh. So, I ended up sitting there talking to Amish girl for a cool minute. Yeah. An Amish girl, I mean, but I just, shit. She actually lives on a freaking barn farm. Like, what is this? We live in Las Vegas. Like, I don't even know there are barns that fucking out here. She has like a scar on her finger. She got, apparently she got pegged by a chicken and then ran and then ran into the barn and scraped her finger on it. Like, like, what, what is this? What is this? No? Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Like, oh, burn's so fun. Wow, oh, this duel is intense. Swear to God, like, why did why do decks like this exist, and why do people play these kind of decks? Like, I don't understand. And start popping shit. I'm going to fucking my boss monster. Start popping shit. And the first fucker I'm gonna detach is fucking Dinesh too. Like, fuck it, can attack? Fine, I'll pop shit. I'll clean up the fucking trash. Fucking, swear to God, so bad, so bad, everything bad. Anyway, let me finish before I do the deck profile. So, uh, ended up chilling with her till about maybe like 10 minutes before class started. She's like, oh, I gotta go to class. So she went left and went to class. So, I was already in the B building, my class is in the B building. So, I walked over to like the Yu-Gi-Oh! Table for like a split second. It's because I wanted to see if this guy had the Denebs and he apparently got rid of them. So, fuck you, I wanted them Denebs. But he's like, nope, I got rid of them. Like, Man, we already shook. I was gonna get those off you. We shook on it. I even shook. I said, tomorrow, bring me the nabs. I'll have the money. Bring them, and I'm gonna get them off of you. We shook on it. 
I came back the next day, had the money, he never showed up. Saw him today, Monday, fucking, nope, um, uh, I, I got rid of him. Fuck you, man. We shook on it. We shook on it. And you fucking broke that. Don't ever, I'm never trading with you again. Fuck you. Anyway, uh, saw in the corner of my eye. Guess who I saw? Yeah, I saw Movie Girl. So, I was like, I got like 10 minutes before class, let me go over here and flirt with her. So I go over there, start talking it up with her, you know, figure out her age, you know, what classes she has, what she's trying to major in, you know, her siblings, all of that. We just start talking it up, you know, starting to get to know her. God, she's cute. I'd say my only complaint with her is that she's in that itty bitty titty committee, but I'm not a, not, I'm a tit man, but it's not that important because she's cute and she has a good personality and she's smart. Yeah, she's, she's got the whole package, so I'm, I'm starting to like her. So, uh, you know, we chatted up to about class start. So when class starts, we start, you know, walking over there and to the general direction of class. And we see a group of our classmates just kind of standing there all talking. And we're like, oh, why are you guys talking? Why don't you go to class? And literally, the freaking teacher was just sitting on the college couch, just staring off into space. I'm like, yep, that's our teacher. <laughs> all right, yeah, the laid back teacher. Just staring off into space. Just sitting there, staring. So, you know, the girls, you know, movie girl and like three other girls are just talking it up. I'm the odd one out because, you know, it's women's literature. So, you know, the man count is low and doesn't help when. I'm kind of in this circle with the whole. You would think that it'd be like, oh yeah, you're in the group of ho ho ho. But no, it was just kind of awkward just because, you know, I was in the conversation, yet it kind of wasn't. So, literally, after they get done talking, they say their goodbyes, we go ahead and head into class. So, uh, <laughs> every single class, the teacher will ask you, you know, about the reading. So, I literally just bust out my book, read like two sentences, and I came up with this bullshit ass question off the top of my head enough to uh, answer question. So literally when we sat in our seats, I don't think she ever knew where I sat down. So literally when we sat in our seats, she when she sat down, she was literally looking around class and when she saw me, she smiled. You know, cause he, I guess she didn't know where I sat. So, he, teacher walks into class. For like a half an hour, he just going and ask around people. Literally my question literally started up like a good five, 10 minutes conversation. So I literally bullshit my way out of that one. BS. Master! Hell yeah! So after that, we start watching the movie uh, Prometheus. We're still watching that. Uh, after that, class ends, and you know, you know me. So I sat there, wait for it. Uh, well, went up to her, started and talked to her again. So, you know, I like to get my game on because Daniel's a player. That is a damn lie. <laughs> so, uh, once again, she decides to go to the computer lab. She prefers the computer lab because it's quiet because. You know, at her house, she has two younger brothers, and apparently the house is loud, so she likes to get work done to the computer lab. She's apparently in this advanced English 102 class. Ooh, English 102, I'm so fun for Fuck that. Fuck English, swear. And I took regular English 102 and got a C. Like, all right, you do your thing, girl. So, uh, I actually walked her to the, the computer lab, and uh, before we parted ways and said our goodbyes, so I was like, well, let me give you my number, because, you know, I didn't want to go ahead and ask her for her number. It's like, let me give you my number, you know. We can always just chat it up whenever, so I gave her my number. So, whenever she feels like texting me, whenever, I don't really care. So, yeah. So, I, I avoided the bullet, because if those two girls would have met, I probably... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, that, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a master. I can only flirt with one girl at a time, so... Yeah, and it was really bad because this one girl, literally this one girl from my high school, she was a year ahead of me, so she, you know, but she recognized me. At first, early in the day, she saw me with Amish girl. Then she saw me with Moody girl. And then literally, there was some girl that randomly walked by and she was like, Where's the library? And I was like, It's in the I building. She's like, Where's that? Like, oh, I'll walk you over to the I building. And then the college girl, saw, the girl from my high school saw me again. So she literally saw me with three different girls on the same day. She's probably, she probably just like, This guy. This guy. He's such a fucking tool. I'm like, oh, well, well, The first two, oh, that last girl, I was just showing her where the library is. Like, Oh, come on. I guess, like, and I saw it. Like, we made eye contact and she just like, glared at me and just shook her head. I was like, it's not like that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm a terrible person apparently. So yeah, there it is. There, there was my Monday. So of course I'll see you guys tomorrow using Marmels because Marmels are staying on because the deck that was supposed to be replacing it 
it was supposed to like I'm telling you right now, it was supposed to Heroes were supposed to be on Sunday and Burning Abyss were supposed to be No, Heroes were supposed to be on Wednesday and Burning Abyss were supposed to be on Sunday, but Burning Abyss turned into a Yubel deck which we replacing Yubel beat. So now Mermos are on Sunday and Mer I mean Heroes are on Sunday and Mermos are staying until like pretty much until I learn how to play with GDD because I want that deck to be on daily duels eventually, so yeah. So yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna So let me go ahead and go quickly through this deck profile, not make this video too long, but yeah, I'm a tool. <laughs> Be right back. Alright, so here's the deck. So Stellar Fist. So of course we got our three Altair, three Deneb, and three Vega. Classic. It's fine, you know. I, I ran out of search targets for the Deneb like usual because I, I drew too many. I think I drew too many Altairs, but it was fine. Uh, you know, deck has consistency issues as you can clearly see, so he decided to go ahead and splash the little Fire Fist engine, you know, like plus one Fire Fist, which I guess is fine. So we got three bears, one gorilla, that's fine. One Wolf Bark, of course, because you know, Fire Fist, duh. Uh, lots of spells, so we go ahead and we'll Summon Monk, yet when I drew that Summon Monk, I had no spells. So I just used it to make the freaking uh, Delta, now uh, because he's generic and my opponent skipped it up real damn fast. So, then you know it's gonna be popping shit every damn time. So, you know, you're gonna be nigging so hard. Then, for wasn't even trying, he wasn't trying to talk with me, he was just trying to be sacky with it. And he got sacked. Alright, so, Dark Hole, not that good this format. Not destruction is not that good, but hey. Uh, foolish, okay, so I'm guessing the Foolish was for to send an ebb so you could start going. I mean, I guess. There's other plays you could dump besides just running the Foolish, but sure. Uh, Book of Moon, sure. Two Rota, okay, for my Warriors, and then three Tanky. All the searching, all the searching. <laughs> three MSTs and the three Lances, I guess. Uh, now the Warning Book, you now these, even though this and this aren't that good, this format. You know, these two are still fine, but these two aren't good, that format. Uh, only two Factor, yeah. That Factor would definitely have I blocked that fucking Phoenix Chain and got my search and drew the card, like, he was just... It was just all, it was the salt was falling on his head. Love this card, like, hell yeah, like, I'd probably put this up to three. And then he had the two wiretap. Yes, he was missing two cards. I put the, the call, of, call of the Haunted in here because I was like, I don't know, fucking Call the Haunted, I don't know. I, don't know. I didn't want to change I, I personally, I like three factor. I think the more, the more that you open up the factor, the better, because factor's just beautiful. So I'd run in three, but he only ran two, his deck. All right, so let's go to the extra deck. Uh, two Delta, uh, yeah, two Delta, okay. Two Castell, sure. Two Emerald, no, one. Uh, one Ouroboros, that's fine. One Heartland, okay, I guess. Uh, I guess for that 2000, I guess, thank you? I don't know, but I guess. He, he, Heartland's kind of fell off the wayside, it's not as good anymore, so yeah. One Diamond Dire, but anything that Diamond Dire can do, Castell can do better. So instead of having a Diamond Dire, can I get a little a bit of x ton up in this bitch? You don't gotta do 101s. Black shit. Castell can do it. And sending to the graveyard is bad, this format. So, Castell. Castell, Castell, you know, who else? Who else? Maestro, Castell, like, I swear to 101 Castell, like, Castell is just that good right now. Um, uh, Blade Armor. Gimmicky, and I don't like it. <laughs> Omega, sure. Revolver Chain, sure. Uh, Scalibur. Gimmicky, and I don't really like it. I wish I had Exiton. Like, I wish this was out, this was out, this was out, this was out, or this was out in exchange for my Exiton. Like, you you really messed up my toolbox, and you literally lost me the duel because I didn't have an Exiton. Ridiculous. I'm just assuming that you forgot about it, but I'm hoping that you weren't in that mentality that, oh, he's always going to be up on resources, so you don't need Exiton. Because no. Shit can hit the fan, you could be down, and just that Exiton to turn that duel around is just beautiful. I love Exiton. And Cowboy, GG. It's just a great card. Hell yeah, Cowboy. You got that part of the toolbox, but no exiton. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so there, there's the Satellar face. Overall, it's okay. It's okay. I, 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 I like I like how there's a lot of searching. I do. I like how you took two inconsistent engines and just put them together. Yep. So yeah, I'm still working on my uh, Constella Knights, which is another inconsistent engine, inconsistent engine from stopping together. So still working on that. Uh, so hopefully. I'll get that. No, I'm waiting for the Baron list. I'm waiting for the Baron list because I want to know what gets hit and what doesn't get hit. You know, because I have vanities and I want to know whether I should play them or get rid of them or what. I want. I want to know. And then if Rotor goes up to three, then I gotta make room for that. So I, d I definitely gotta know what's up. All right. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, episode, of Deadly Dolls. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with Mermills talking about my Tuesday. Tuesday where I have. 
women study where I'm going. I'm, you know what? I'm done. All right. Kirby girl has a boyfriend. Therefore, my only other choice to talk to a girl in that class has to be unapproachable girl. Unapproachable. Oh my god. Unapproachable girl. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk to her. Fuck it. I'm just gonna talk to her. I'm gonna get. Re I'm probably gonna get rejected at that. But hey, you know, I tried. Cause she's just. She just seems way, 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 way out of my league. But hey, you no. Know, won't know till you try, right? For all I know, she could just be the little cute girl who's single. So. That'd be awesome, but I doubt it. She, she, she just looks way out of my league, but hey, whatever. Gonna go talk to her, definitely. So you'll hear about that tomorrow. Um, and calculus, so no fighting with anybody in that class. There's some cute Asian girls in that class, but no fighting with anybody in that class. I'm too focused. I need to focus on math. I'm a math nerd geek nerd. <laughs> all right, so thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, and I'll see you guys tomorrow using my mouse. Talking about my Tuesday. Thanks for watching.